Hello and welcome to Crack So It. Today in this video, I'm going to give you the review of well-known Pixel Extended ROM version 5.7. It is based on Android version 13 and it has security update of April 5, 2023. And Lightning Kernel is used in this ROM. So without further ado, let's get started. User Experience Let's begin by discussing the user experience of the Pixel Extended Room. When scrolling and swiping across the screen, the room feels smooth and responsive. However, there is a slight stuttering in the quick settings panel when swiping down from the status bar. Apart from this minor issue, the overall user experience is great. You can also observe the app opening and closing speed of this room on the screen. Please share your thoughts in the comment section about the app opening and closing speed of this room. Camera Now let's talk about the camera performance of this Pixel Extended ROM. This ROM offers two different camera options, the MIUI camera and the Aperture camera. The Aperture camera is equipped with photo, video and scan modes, all of which work seamlessly. The MIUI camera on the other hand features a fully functional 48 megapixel camera and portrait mode, both of which work flawlessly. Google Photo Stories are you someone who loves to take a lot of photos and videos but hates running out of storage space? Well, the Pixel Extended ROM has got you covered. One of the standout features of this ROM is the unlimited Google Photos storage option. With this feature, you can upload all of your photos and videos to Google Photos without worrying about hitting any storage limits. This means you can keep all your memories in one place and access them anytime you want. Launcher Let's take a look at the launcher that comes with the Pixel Extended ROM. This ROM features the well-known Pixel Launcher which offers a clean and simple user interface. While this launcher does not offer a lot of customization options in its home screen settings, it does provide a smooth and seamless user experience. The recent app section displays only screenshots and the select option at the bottom. However, for apps, you do get some useful options such as App Info, Split Top, Freeform and pause app options. While the lack of customization options may be a drawback for some users, the simple and streamlined interface of the Pixel Launcher is perfect for those who prefer a minimalist approach to their device home screen. Quick setting. Now let's take a look at the quick settings panel on the Pixel Extended ROM. Unfortunately, like many other Android 13 ROMs, the quick settings panel can be a bit laggy at times. However, it comes with some of the useful tiles. Some of the most noteworthy tiles include a QR code scanner, calculator, extra dim and recorder. These tiles can be useful for quickly accessing certain features without having to navigate through your device menu. Customizations Let's talk about the customization options available in the Pixel Extended ROM. The ROM offers a range of customizations through its PE extension section, which provides a good amount of flexibility to personalize your device. While the number of customization options may not be as extensive as some other Android 13 ROMs, the available options are still quite useful. For example, in the status bar section, you can enable the network traffic indicator which can help you monitor your network uses. You can also customize clock related settings such as changing the clock position, displaying seconds and more. Battery settings and other status bar related settings can also be personalized to better suit your preferences. Moving on to the lock screen section, there's an option for double tap to check the phone, but unfortunately it didn't seem to work on my device. However, there is also an option to disable the power menu on the lock screen for added security. In the system settings section, you can customize the icon pack, icon shape and lock screen clock font. There is also an option to ignore windows secure flags which removes screenshot and screen record restrictions for all applications on your device including banking apps. In the hardware section, you can customize buttons and gestures. For example, the Ace Long Swipe Action feature allows you to choose from five different actions to apply on a long swiping edge gesture. And this feature works perfectly. There is also an advanced restart option that allows you to reboot your phone into recovery or fast boot mode. Finally, there is a click to partial screenshot option which allows you to take partial screenshots on your phone. 
these are just some of the customization available in the PE extension section of the pixel extended row. Battery settings. Let's take a closer look at the battery settings available in this room. The pixel battery user start option is available which provides a detailed breakdown of how the battery is being consumed by different apps and system processes. Additionally, there is a battery saver option that can help extend your device battery life when enabled. This battery saver mode also comes with an extreme battery saver option that is useful when you need to maximize your device's battery life. You can also view which apps are consuming the most battery power and take necessary actions using the app battery uses option. Overall, these battery settings provide a good balance of features to help you manage your device battery life efficiently. Display settings. Now let's talk about the display settings available in this room. The dark theme option is present but what's really great about it is that it includes a custom black theme option that forces black backgrounds resulting in a completely blacked out appearance on your phone. Wallpapers and styles. Moving towards wallpapers and styles section of this room, the basic color option includes several multicolor gradients colors to choose from, adding a touch of personalization to your device. But one notable feature in this section is the ability to customize the lock screen footer section with shortcut icons. By accessing the shortcut options, you can select which icons appear on both the left and right sides of the lock screen footer. This practical addition can save time for users who frequently access specific apps or functions. Security Let's talk about the security features on this room. It comes with both fingerprint and face unlock options for convenient and secure access to your device. Additionally, if you navigate to the advanced security settings, you will find the app lock feature which allows you to protect individual apps with an added layer of security. This is especially useful for sensitive apps like banking or social media. Gesture Within the system setting, you will find the gesture option where you can customize various gesture related features. For instance, you can enable the swipe to take a screenshot feature which allows you to take a screenshot by swiping across the screen with three fingers. Once taken, you can easily share, edit or delete the screenshot. However, the search lens option is not available which some users may prefer to have after taking a screenshot. System update and Xiaomi parts. In addition to the customizations and settings mentioned earlier, Pixel Extended Row also includes two additional features, System Update and Xiaomi Parts. This System Update option allows you to easily check if any new updates are available for the room. This is a convenient feature that saves you time from having to manually check for updates on websites. On the other hand, Xiaomi Parts is a feature that provides various options to enhance your device's performance. Some of the options available in Xiaomi parts include the MI sound enhancer, clear speaker, display color calibration and more. These features can help you customize your device audio and display settings to your liking and enhance the overall performance of your device. Safety net status. The safety net compatibility test ensures that the room meets Google security standard, which is important for sensitive apps like banking and payment apps to run securely on the device. The good news is that this room passed the test, so you can safely download apps from the Google Play Store and you will even see the Play Protect certification level certified on the Google Play Store app, indicating that the device meets Google's security requirements. Antutu Benchmark Score to conclude, let's take a look at the Antutu Benchmark Score. Antutu Benchmark is a tool that measures the overall performance of a device, including its CPU, GPU and RAM performance. This score is 199232, which is a close to 2 lakhs and in my personal opinion, this score is average for this device. Conclusion to sum up, the Pixel Extended Room version 5.7 offers a satisfying user experience despite some minor issues such as the average answer to benchmark score and QS panel lag. Additionally, the double tap to pulse option is not functional. Nonetheless, the Room provides stability and smooth performance making it a reliable choice. We hope you found this video helpful and if you have any experience and thoughts related to this Room then you can comment down below. And thank you so much for watching this video. 
if you like our video then don't forget to hit the like button comment down below share this video and subscribe to cracksweed also hit the notification bell i'll see you in my next video bye